I 7 x my sales on TikTok and I'm going to break down exactly how I did it. So let's talk about how I used TikTok specifically and changed nothing else about my marketing. I didn't run ads, nothing. And I 7 times my sales in a single month on the platform. Now it's worth saying that this was not after I had built an audience. I was in the process of building my audience as this happened. So I was still a very small fish on this platform and I was growing my numbers, growing my following, and growing my sales at the same time. I did not have the standing that I have now on the platform and this means that anybody can be doing these things as well. It's also important to know that I tried a lot of different things to see what would stick. What worked for me may not work for you, may not work for the next person. So you have to create a lot of content and put it out to see what resonates with your specific audience. But let me break down some of the things that I did. First and foremost, I made sure I came into the platform as an industry leader. I had something to teach on and to speak on with background in that area to then educate my audience. I came into an industry where people needed education. They were looking for help. They were looking for how to do the things that I was doing and how my products and services could then help them. And so I did a ton of educational content. And this came down to a number of different ways. So I focused heavily on my educational content. There were some entertaining things in there and my educational content was very entertaining, but I did not do viral trends. I didn't do dances. I didn't do the things that other people were doing to just randomly go viral on the platform. I was doing educational content that served an audience and that's what you need to focus on if you want to be bringing people into your platform and then onboarding them to buy your products or your services. One thing that worked really well for me was answering people's questions. So as an authority in my industry, I was able to put out videos and say, hey, I am this, this is my authority level. What questions can I answer for you? So for my example, I am a multi-time best-selling fiction author in addition to doing all this educational marketing stuff for you. And so on my platform, I would say, hey, I'm a multi-time best-selling author. What questions can I answer for you? And sometimes it would be a big broad statement. What questions can I answer for you? And sometimes I would specify a niche down a little bit. So what questions can I answer for you about getting a traditional publishing contract? Or what questions can I answer for you about writing your first book? I would be very specific. And then people could fill in the comments and I was able to then reply with a video and respond to them. Sometimes I would just answer them in the comments, but I was able to then interact with them in multiple ways. And pro tip here, I actually did both on a lot of those answers. So I would give them a written answer, but then I would go and film a video and put that up as well. So I always wanted to make sure I responded as quickly as possible, and that's really important. Respond as quickly as possible, and I would give them a written answer and uh, answer to that. Sometimes it would be the, you know, the gist of what I needed to answer for them. And sometimes it would be, hey, this is really good. I think this would be better as a video. Let me answer this later today. So that we had that written context, but also I would come back in an hour or two later and post a video. And that could be, you know, same day. It could be the next day, whatever. But as quickly as possible, you want to get those things answered. And because the TikToks show that question box, which I like to leave up for a good amount of time, not just a quick flash in the pan, but I'd like to leave it up for at least, you know, four, five, six seconds so that people can see she takes the time to answer questions. So this is going to be really helpful to you in answering those questions and putting those question calls out. Now, if you do not get a lot of people commenting, there are two things that you can do. One, plant questions. You can absolutely have your friends and family come in and ask you those questions and then you can answer those. But you also have the ability to post your own comments on like, topics that are related to it. So you can say part two, part three, or you can say a related topic in the comments and then reply with that video and say, one of the things we talk about a lot when it comes to that original topic is this branch off topic and here are the questions that I get and here are the answers to them. So you can show that you are answering these questions even before people are asking them. But question calls are incredibly important. And educational content is really, really important in the platform, but just talking to camera can sometimes be a little boring. So I tried to 
spice it up a little bit by using character sketches, which is something that goes over really, really well on the platform. Now, a lot of users will create these character sketches just to have funny conversations between characters, but I used mine to be educational. I created a series called Author Convos, and then I created a spin-off series called Reader Convos, where I educated my audience in different things. So I used my original series, Author Convos, to talk about publishing world and writing world things. I then used my spin-off series to talk about different books. It was a conversation between two readers, and I talked about the contents of the books so that people who might like to read them would spark with it and pick up those books, which by the way, skyrocketed not only my sales, but the other authors who paid me to market their books, they saw dramatic sales as well. So parody content is going to be really important. So study character sketches, and I have videos on how to do that here on the YouTube channel, so make sure you check those out. And you're going to learn how to be funny with this. Now this doesn't mean you have to do character sketches, but it does mean you need to have a level of fast-paced talking, interesting conversation, education, and some level of humor. You need to be snappy or witty or sassy about it. Have something that's going to grab their attention and hang on to them. Because educational content is fantastic. We love to learn, but it can be a little boring, a little dry. People will stick around for it if it's helpful to them. But if you get them with humor, they will latch on to that so strongly and then stick around for more content because it's just so interesting to them and it feels good and it's a fun way to have tougher conversations. So you can have very light-hearted conversation about a very tough subject or something that might be a little on the tough love side. I love parody sketches because it allows you to script it, to have recognizable characters so that when people see you in those characters they will always stop and then you can have those tough conversations or those light-hearted conversations with them in the form of a humorous piece. Now another thing that works really well right now on TikTok that I did not necessarily do as much in the beginning when I was 7xing my sales but does work really well for me right now is the fact that you can be doing viral based or trendy based content but bring it back into your audience, bring it back into your platform. So if there's something where people are using a lip sync or a dub and they're just having a conversation back and forth, use the text to relate it back to what you educate on, what you talk about and what you sell. You're gonna be using things that go viral because viral based, trendy based things tend to see spikes in numbers. You will probably see extra views if you do a bunch of these. You shouldn't be doing exclusively trendy content, but use and leverage it in the mix of everything else that you're doing. So for every 10 videos you're putting out, one of those can be trendy. And you want to make sure that you're leveraging again back to your platform. And this was not necessarily something that worked for me while I was building up that 7x increase in my sales. I tried it, it didn't work for me then. It does work for me really well right now. So sometimes you will find something that works really well for you in the moment that will not work as strongly later on or something that didn't work for you in the moment that will work later on. So just because you find what works for you right now doesn't mean you shouldn't continue to explore in the future because it could change. The algorithm changes, your audience changes, what they wanna see changes, and your virality will change with what's going on in the community right now. So just because something didn't work for you a month ago doesn't mean it's not gonna work now. Which goes back to the conversation I love having with you. The more content you put out there, the better you're gonna do, the faster you're gonna grow, and the easier you're gonna see what's working for you in the moment. So if you can put out a ton of content very, very quickly, and you can just continually put out that content, again, consistently, you're going to be able to scale way faster. But that's another conversation, and that's more videos that we have. If you want my five minute method, make sure you stick around because I'm showing you exactly how to create a ton of content in a very short amount of time without burning out. Hit the subscribe notification bell. But we need to continue talking about what works to 7x those sales, to 10x those sales, to 100x those sales for you. Something that worked really well for me was actually bringing other people into my content. So I looked for other people in my space who were doing similar things to me and I would bring them in on different projects. Sometimes that looked like creating a group project where we all showed up in one video on my post. Sometimes it meant creating something that was duettable or stitchable so that people could then come in and parlay off of my content and extend the reach of my content. And sometimes that meant we were shouting each other out or talking about each other's products and services or doing something where we were drawing attention to each other. 
find a group of people to collaborate with on the platform and raise each other up. It's gonna be really, really helpful to kind of bring other people into it because it lowers your work level. You don't have to create as much content, but you're getting that reach from their audience and from your audience and from the algorithm. And it's really just kind of nice to have other people in on this and have this conversation. So I highly recommend looking for other people to bring in collaboratively on your content. Above all else, your goal with your TikTok is to create community and conversation. So whatever you're putting out into the platform needs to be something that people can have conversations about, which means you need to have calls to action in your videos. Tell them to say something in your comments. You need to, and this is a major pro tip here, write this one down, be leveraging your comments. You have the ability to go comment on your own videos. Nobody wants to be the first one to comment on a video. So as soon as you post, like your own video and go into the comments and ask a question that people can respond to. This is going to help elevate that conversation that you're having and allow them to answer a very simple, basic question. And then if they want to leave more, great, but you've already given them an opportunity to have a conversation with you, which will help your algorithm stand because the more comments you get, the better you're ranked. So you want to make sure that you're leveraging your comments by commenting yourself. You also want to leverage your comments by at leaving comments that you can do parlayed videos off of. So we talked a little bit about making sure you're answering things in the comments. You can do that on your own videos if it makes sense. You shouldn't be doing it in all of them, but if it makes sense to continue the conversation, make sure you do it. And then make sure you're spending your time inside of your comments. If somebody leaves a comment, respond as quickly as possible. Respond no matter what they're doing, make sure you're responding. And again, we've had conversations about how to deal with your comments if they are not on the nice side. So don't think that you have to respond to bullies or harassment or whatever. But if you have somebody who's just leaving a comment and they're leaving emojis or they're leaving that's so cute or cool, you can have those conversations or if they're leaving a question or a valuable comment, make sure you're responding back to them. Even if they're leaving something like the little sunglasses emoji where they're like, you're cool. You want to make sure that you are responding with a series of words. So like five or more words, leave a sentence, ask them a question, do something to engage with them so people can see that you are engaging and do it as quickly as possible. If you see a notification pop up, go in and respond to it. It doesn't mean you have to scroll through TikTok or spend a lot of time there, but just go in and respond with a couple of words to that person. If you are able to respond quickly, they're going to have more of a conversation with you. So I always recommend you are monitoring that, have your phone nearby, and if you see things pop up, make sure you do it. Now, pro tip again, we've got a lot of pro tips in this one. TikTok doesn't always give you notifications on your things. I have so many videos right now that are getting comments that I just, I'm not seeing because I'm not getting those notifications. So if you see something getting a lot of likes, or if you see notifications on something, or if you see in your analytics you are doing well with the video, go check those videos. Any video that has a higher number of views for you, make sure you're checking frequently to see if a comment popped up that they just didn't tell you about and make sure you're interacting and engaging with that. I was able to 7x my sales in a single month simply by making sure I spent time on TikTok. I was not running ads, I didn't do other things, and I was doing my normal posting on the other social platforms. So it was solely contributed to my work on TikTok even before I was running ads on TikTok. This went so well for me. I got noticed by many companies who came to me for brand deals and sponsor deals. I had companies like TikTok ask me to create content for them on a paid capacity. And this is going to be something that you have the ability to do too, if you're going to put the time and effort into it. So make sure that you are working on what your audience wants to see. You're giving them highly qualified educational content, and you are doing your best to interact with the community. Remember, it all boils down to education and building your community and conversation. So the more that you can do for your community, the better you're going to do in return. It is not about pitching your things or selling your things. Don't ask people to look at you, but offer them valuable content. Give them your service. Remember, you're here to serve this audience. And as part of that, they will then come back to you. So I never once said, look, I wrote a book, buy my book. You should buy my book. You should read my book. I never said that. I always gave highly 
qualified content to help them be educated, to give them different ideas, to show off different things in the industry. And because I was then their source of information, they came back to me and purchased a lot of my stuff. And you have the ability to do that too. If you've got questions, drop them down below. Hit the subscribe and notification bell because I am literally dropping videos every single day showing you how to take the time commitment out of your social media and run your business more strategically so that you can get back to living your life while still being present on social. I'll see you in the next video.